Okay, hi everybody, this is Anthony Kiribash, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the OECTA online learning environment. So when you log in, you will come to this welcome page, and look at this as entry into um, the OECTA building, all right? So you've entered into the OECTA building, and we have our uh, online learning community um, guidelines here. Please read them, they're there for a reason. Uh, you have the help menu, you have a calendar, and some of you might have a role switch, but if you don't, um, that's fine. Across the top, um, when you see My Home, My Home brings you into the front or the foyer of the building, so think about that. Over here, to select a course is really to select uh, a, a classroom to enter, so you can choose. So what I'm going to do for now is just use um, my course master or the IT course master to uh, demonstrate. So you enter the course that you've registered in and my home doesn't go away. Your course here uh, is still there and the OECTA logo is still a button and this button takes you back to the foyer. So if you accidentally click it, know that you have to come back into the room by selecting your course. All right, so far so good. Uh, across the top you have course home. So course home is when you're in front of the classroom or so you can take your seat, say virtually. You click on course home, you will always see a news item and hopefully your instructor will be uh, populating that news item with uh, goodies and information for you. If you click on class list, you will see everyone that's registered in your class and you have the ability availability to email them you can page them okay you won't see anything else there so that's the class list the meat and potatoes of your course are in the content sections when you click on the content at the very top you will see that on the left side you have a table of contents and in the center you will have the actual file now, OECTA has done a lot of work and taken a lot of pain to minimize the clicking. So you'll notice there are very few PDF files. If there are there, they're for resource. Um, but the course actually sits as a website. When you click on each and every one, uh, you'll be taken to a page that looks pretty much like this. And so the links within here will most likely be live. Um, but if your instructor has set up small groups, which most instructors have, um, you'll notice that discussions will behave a lot differently uh, because the discussions were, in, in, in the online world, discussions are really, really, blech, I guess is the best way to say it. There are far too many people talking about the same thing over and over and participation isn't authentic. So maybe your instructor has created small groups or um, maybe your instructor has instructed you uh, clearly about the expectations for the discussions. What you want to do is click on the discussion link and you will notice um, that you have an option of course. If you see it, then you have access to it. That's all you really need to worry. In Desire to Learn, the blue links are always the action links. So this is a, this is a, a course that talks about uh, children and the Oz effect, you know, the idea that children know more than we do about technology. Simply not true. When you click on the blue link, you come to uh, a basic description of that particular discussion. And it, again, in, in this particular learning management system, you click on the blue button to start a new thread. So my response, or my two cents, or whatever you want to call it. You just make sure you give it some kind of context. Just below you have something called an editor. All right, It looks a lot like Microsoft Word. I want to show something to you. You don't always have to submit boring text. You can submit anything you want. Click on the insert stuff. That's the very first button. It looks like a little play, pause, stop, forward. And it works like an attachment for email. So if you wanted to, you could browse your computer and you can upload pictures, you could upload presentations, you could upload Word files, you can upload whatever you like, even MP3s, hint, hint. And when you have selected it, so let me just pick one for example, I'll go to pictures, hopefully I have something ready. All right. 
and always scroll to the bottom don't panic always look for the blue action button click on upload and the nice thing about this system is that you see this link across the top here it's really ugly so it's asking you do you want to change that link and say yes my picture and then alt alternate text is for people who have low vision okay if you don't want to in put a description there just click on this image is decorative and then insert and this goes for just about any file you want anything you can post just about anything in here and click post guys there's no point in taking an online course if we're still doing the same thing we were doing 25 or 30 years ago you need to start trying different ways of uploading material into discussions okay so there's my there's my uh, my post and if my instructor is asking me to respond to the post, I'll come in. I'll say, hey, all right, Karabash has posted something. Let me just click on that link. There's this picture. There's my action. Let me reply to that picture. Ooh, that's really cool. All right. And then you click on post. So then that's how you manage the discussions. Your Dropbox, again, it's pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. So if I have to go to the lesson plan, I click on that link. Here's my instructor's instructions and then files to submit. So I can add a file. Same way as before, I click on add file and then I can upload it if it's a Word document, if it's a Prezi, a PowerPoint. I could even record audio. If I click on record audio, it'll activate a recorder. Please read the instructions. If it says it needs a, to be allowed, then <laughs> allow it. And then in D2L, I can actually record my voice for up to one minute. And the instructor will get that. And then click on Submit. So that's how you use the Dropbox. That's pretty much it. That's a great way to start. Uh, if you have any questions, ask your instructor. And I'm sure they will help you along the way. Please take your time and uh, enjoy the course. And we thank you for taking an online AQ with OECTA. Thank you.